Sunday was just another normal day at Chelsea, when Enzo Maresca announced his first line, up as manager of the Blues ahead of facing Manchester City, eyebrows were raised at the omission of Raheem Sterling, jaws then dropped when the 29-year-old's representatives issued an extraordinary statement expressing their shock at Maresca's decision, which the new Blues boss described as technical after suffering a tepid 2,0 defeat. Sterling's camp reiterated the forwards' commitment to Chelsea but also noted that they looked forward to gaining clarity on the situation, comments which his ex-Liverpool team, mate, Jamie Carragher, labelled ridiculous in a brutal takedown. The elephant in the room, of course, is that the transfer window is still open for 12 more days and Sterling's future has been thrust into the spotlight. We asked the Mirror football team to give their verdict on the statement and where Sterling could go next. Man left out of matchday squad issues statement. Move along, nothing to see here. If every discarded player's representatives delivered a sermon from the mount every time they failed to make the starting eleven, nobody would have any time to play football. Raheem Sterling was unlucky to be binned by England 12 months ago, after he had made a brisk start to the season with Chelsea but his star has fallen since he was England's player of the tournament at Euro 2020 in Sunday's hissy, fit before he was left out against Manchester City is another sign that his career has crested the summit. Chelsea have 42 players, and new manager Enzo Maresca can only pick 11. As they say over the big pond, do the math. It's just another weave of wicker in the basket case of Stamford Bridge where they have spent £1.2 billion on new players in two years and still haven't got a top, class centre, forward or goalkeeper. As for Sterling, a terrific player at his peak, there will be no shortage of takers. If he wants to top up his pension, Saudi Arabian clubs pay well. But if he wants to keep playing competitive football at the highest level, try more goals and fewer statements. The treatment of Raheem Sterling sums up all that is wrong with Chelsea franchise club. Remember the current regime bought him for £47.5 million in 2022 when he was surplus to requirements at Manchester City and gave him a £325,000 a week contract. Since then the crazy spending has continued and now the Blues face a race to reduce their squad and wage bill before the window shuts. It is difficult to see any clubs at home or abroad taking sterling without a big Chelsea subsidy. Trading players. Conor Gallagher and Trevor Chalabar are also up for sale, also does nothing to build the club's identity. How the Chelsea midfield could have used the experience of Mateo Kovacic over the last year. Players sold to Chelsea disappear and plummet in value. Players going to Manchester City get better and, like Julian Alvarez, can be sold for more. Copying Manchester City needs more than appointing a Pep protégé as head coach. Your turn. Should Chelsea sell Raheem Sterling? Let us know your opinion in the comments section if Chelsea players are going to start releasing statements every time they get left out of the matchday squad then we are going to be seeing a lot of statements. Raheem Sterling's move might have looked a little petulant, but you can understand it. It's the opening game of the season, it's against his former club, it's on the telly. Head have wanted to play but instead he finds himself tossed out of the back of Cobham with Romelu Lukaku, Kepur Izabalaga and the other spare parts. The club quite literally have more players than they know what to do with, but Sterling is too gifted a performer to be left to rot. He needs a move before the end of the window and the statement was clearly designed to help with that. Where to, though? Hopefully he stays in the Premier League. And there are arguments for Arsenal and Tottenham if he wants to stay in London. A rogue shout, though. How about a club on Merseyside he knows well who have already shown their hand that they'd quite like a winger this summer. Raheem the Red again. A statement after being dropped isn't the traditional way to win your way back into a team and it probably won't have that result here. Frustration from the winger is understandable, particularly if his status in the squad has come as a surprise after a summer involved in Chelsea's pre-season. The response seems more symptomatic of Chelsea. With players forced to train separately from the squad and pushed towards moves they didn't particularly desire. It stokes conflict and prompts reaction when others fear they could be pushed in a similar direction.
it's been suggested it was a technical decision which was communicated ahead of the weekend, but at the least it appears to have prompted suspicion from the players' camp with limited time in the transfer window remaining. Stamford Bridge, in part, has become a transactory environment and that has not left much room for benefit of the doubt. With Sterling's salary significantly higher than the model that has come afterwards, it would be no surprise if they hoped to move him on. It could also be the reason he is unable to depart. This is a problem all of Chelsea's own making. If you have a gigantic squad full to the brim with highly paid players then you are handing your new manager a ticking time bomb, FYI, Todd Bawley. Welcome to Chelsea, Enzo Maresca. There are two ways of looking at the situation from Sterling's perspective. Firstly, if he wants to stay at Chelsea and compete for a place in the starting line, up, as his representatives said, then their statement has backfired. It's a PR own, goal, an unnecessary escalation of what could have been a minor story. Secondly, however, if he wants a transfer in the next 12 days, then this could be a pretty effective way of drawing attention to yourself. But how realistic is that? As mentioned in the statement, He's got three more years on his Chelsea contract, which reportedly pays him as much as £325,000 a week. Barring perhaps Saudi Arabia, there is zero chance that an out of form 29th year old is going to find another club willing to pay such wages. Sterling would be best advised to knuckle down and try to win over his new manager. He could have reached out for assurance privately. It's understandable that Raheem Sterling would want to control the narrative around his Chelsea situation. He's a player with reason to feel others have been quick to put words in his mouth before. So this is a way of getting in before that can happen again, even if the statement itself doesn't say a great deal. I don't think this needs to be the end for Sterling at Chelsea. Others have found their way back into the fold after seemingly being written off by Premier League clubs, though his form last year and the Blues spending means had likely need to accept a reduced role a la Harry Maguire at Manchester United last term. The obvious issue facing him, and other Blues outcasts, is that there are few other clubs capable of meeting his wage demands. However, Perhaps Paris Saint, Germain might feel like spending some of that spare wage money that's been lying around since Kylian Mbappe's exit. The timing of the statement, an hour before Chelsea kicked off their season against City, was questionable. Why not wait until after game to explain the situation? I'm not entirely sure it affected the Blues' preparations that much, but even so, it got their season off to another sour note, and they hadn't even kicked a ball. Having said that, Sterling, and his representatives, are well within their rights to own the narrative. The club are a mess right now and we could see more public statements going forwards, given how many big names are being forced out. All the talk is how many could leave before the window slams shut, but I wouldn't be surprised if the chaos continues with even more new signings. It's like the owners are oblivious to all the outside noise. Want a guide on how not to run a football club? Chelsea are the perfect example. Sterling should pack his bags and move on. He deserves better. He's a serial winner and, despite struggling for form since making the move two years ago, he can still perform at the highest level. I'd love to see him remain in the Premier League. Arsenal and Tottenham aren't bad shouts. But how about someone like Crystal Palace? They need a new attacker and head fit right into the system alongside Eberechies. Can they afford his wages? Probably not. Would he want the move? Almost certainly not. But we can all dream.